I think there are several powerful tools that can really take the guesswork out of pricing. You can start with the pricing calculator, like we chatted about, uh, the model, the service costs, define your architecture. That's gonna be your baseline estimation tool. Welcome back to the Azure Essential Show. I'm your host, Thomas, and I'm here once again with Britt from Microsoft Azure. Today, we will show you how to take control of Azure pricing with a simple three-layer framework plus tools to make cost estimation much easier. Welcome back, Britt. It's good to see you again, Thomas. Let's start with a little refresher for our viewers. In the first episode of this series, we talked about the Azure pricing calculator. How does the calculator fit into the broader Azure pricing journey that we're all talking about today? Absolutely, Thomas. As we've covered in that previous episode, the Azure Calculator is your go-to web-based tool for estimating Azure costs before you commit. But here's the thing. The Pricing Calculator is one of many tools at your disposal in your Azure journey. And honestly, success really comes down to not how you use it, but about your mindset across the whole Azure pricing journey from start to end. Awesome. Fair enough. So how should people think about Azure pricing? What is the right mental model here? Well, Thomas, let me answer that by asking you a question. If you wanted to estimate your, uh, let's say, electricity bill month over month, uh, how, how would you do that? Well, my electricity bill, well, it varies month over month based on my usage. That's right. Yeah. So it's, it's not a flat rate. Um, how would you, what does your usage come down to? I guess it would be what devices are running in my house, you know, the air conditioning, computers, obviously, appliance, and how long I use them. Yeah, that's exactly right. So if I were to synthesize what you just said, you're paying really based on three things. What devices you're running, how powerful they are, and how long you're using them for. And Azure Pricing works in a very similar way. The devices you choose are your architecture. Their settings, i.e. their configuration, is like the settings of the devices that you're running and how long you use your Azure services is like how long you're using your refrigerator for. <laughs> okay. So instead of air conditioners and appliances, I'm basically choosing virtual machines and databases. Exactly. And, and just like your home, your Azure is built with the services that you choose, their configuration, how much you consume. And when you think about it this way, cloud pricing becomes a lot less mysterious and, and more about like understanding your resource behavior instead of just looking at price tags. Okay. So with that as our mindset, what is the best way for people to approach cost estimation? My advice is to choose a place to start, go slow and keep refining over time. Azure cost estimation is an iterative journey and you're not going to get it perfect on the first try, and that's okay. Start by defining your business needs and your use case, and then work through the three layers, each one on top of each other. Start with architecture, then do configuration, then your usage estimation. Yeah, what that means is plan the services you need and how they're going to work together, then choose the right SKUs and tiers for your performance needs, and then estimate your actual consumption patterns once you have those first two set. And the key is to build your estimate along with your understanding of Azure so that they're building together. Okay. So I think this is very great advice. Go slow and iterate and learn from basically what you do. Um, I think that's very great. Now, what tools can help our viewers with this estimation process? Yeah, I, I think there are several powerful tools that can really take the guesswork out of pricing. You can start with the pricing calculator, like we chatted about, uh, the model, the service costs, define your architecture. That's going to be your baseline estimation tool. It helps you turn your solution architecture into a cost estimate by visualizing the cost models for each individual Azure service, for each individual Azure SKU, letting you package them all together under your desired configuration. And you can use Azure Migrate to assess any on-premise workloads to get recommendations for the Azure equivalent. It, I think the calculator is going to take a lot of the guesswork out of the migration scenario specifically. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, 
And what do we have for people uh, who are already running in Azure? That's where a few other tools become really valuable. Azure Advisor is like having a personal cloud consultant. It analyzes your resources, uh, your usage. It gives you recommended uh, actions to take to cut unnecessary spending. Azure Monitor also is fantastic for understanding how your applications and services are actually performing. Uh, it helps you choose the right size resources so you're not paying for unnecessary capacity. And also cost management. Uh, it gives you comprehensive view of real-time cost tracking, budgeting tools, alerts to uncover optimization, and it covers all of your Azure resources. But all three of those are really good post-consumption along with the pricing calculator. Fantastic. So yeah, those are very useful tools. I'm a huge fan myself of Azure Advisor, not just for obviously uh, cost recommendations, but also like in terms of security and other best practices. So very, very useful. Um, I know that you're also excited about Microsoft Copilot in Azure yeah. for this use case of cost estimation. Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that you brought that up. Um, whether you're just starting out or you're optimizing existing resources, Microsoft Copilot in Azure can help you so much in just your understanding and estimating costs. It's like bringing along with you every step of the way. I mean, it's a game changer here, especially because it lets you ask like, anything from a pricing question uh, to like just a natural overall understanding question. And because it's helping you in natural language, it, it really makes it a personal simplification for you. You can ask it something like, hey, what's the best architecture for this AI app? And Copilot gives you an intelligent response. It breaks down terminology. I use that every day. I'm like, hey, what does this word mean? Or what does that mean? And it makes it like accessible. I, I use it literally all the time. Uh, Copilot can also break down cost by service, by region or specific usage meters, or even simulate how cost changes depending on your usage scenarios. Plus, Copilot gives you relevant documentation. So if it's not answering the question, you can dive deeper into docs and learn or different articles and blog posts that are it can tailor the resources that you need specifically to your environment so that you're not just getting generic advice. Fantastic. So a lot of great tools for different situations here. We've compiled as you guide throughout the whole journey, basically. Uh, before we wrap up, what would you say is the most important thing for our viewers to remember? Yeah, I think the biggest piece of advice is to embrace the iterative mindset that we talked about. Don't don't let perfect be the enemy of good when it comes to your first estimates. Uh, like, go experiment with the tools we just discussed. Start with the Azure Pricing Calculator. Explore Azure Migrate if you have any on-premise workloads. Uh, and definitely try asking Copilot some pricing questions. Your first estimate may not be perfect, and that's totally normal. Just start somewhere. Learn from what you deploy, keep refining your approach, and that's how you build confidence and make smarter cloud spending decisions over time. Fantastic. So, Britt, this has been such a helpful deep dive into Azure pricing estimation and how it can really transform the way people approach cloud spending decisions. Thank you for coming uh, on the show and sharing all these practical insights with our viewers. Absolutely, Thomas. That was great. Thanks for having me. You can find links to all the resources we covered today in the episode descriptions below. Don't forget to leave your feedback in the comments and give our show a like and subscribe to the channel so you get notified when a new episode drops. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on the Azure Essentials Show.